Welcome back, friends. We jump right back into the action a few days before the wedding when my family arrives. It was so good to see them. This is us seeing each other for the first time in three years. But the next day is where it really started. The next day was go time. Of course, I have a planned outfit for every day of the activities. For the first day, I'm wearing this beautiful Olivia Annabelle apparel dress. It has a really amazing Lady of the Lake King Arthur print. It's got dragons and unicorns and the sword and the stone in the lake, giving me those medieval nightcore vibes uh, and is a bit more casual for this first day. So the main wedding party, it was like close friends and family, were staying together at a little farm manor just outside of town. So we had a little home base, we could all spend time together. So the first day was everyone arriving. It was so amazing having so many people in one place from so many parts of my life. We made a big group meal. Well, the chefs did, go team chefs. We spent the rest of the night eating and catching up going to sleep not too far into the early hours of the morning because there's another big day ahead. The next day got off to a great start as I came downstairs to chef squad already cooking up a full English breakfast for the whole house. Truly delicious, truly amazing. <laughs> But the constant stress and attention was starting to get to me a little bit. It is intense. <laughs> oh man, shares a lot of people I love here. Uh, so I'm taking a 10 minute time out. It's a lot. It's amazing and wonderful, but it is full on. I'm looking forward to after the big day, I'm gonna have a bath in that thing. <laughs> But then it was time to start the day's activity, which was a steam train ride through the Devon countryside. You might have seen me take this train journey before in my late summer in Devon video. For this, we rent out an entire train car and had all of our friends sort of dress in the great explorers of the 20th century kind of idea, like Dark Academia, Brendan Fraser's The Mummy, Call of Cthulhu type of idea. My outfit for day two is here. I'm wearing a sand de Flor butterfly dress. Love the sleeves on that. And then to give it more of that like dark academia type feel, to give it a bit more structured, I've thrown on one of my really tight fitting waistcoats. <laughs> and we have amazing friends and family. Everyone showed up and delivered. We had an amazing time having some drinks, taking in the scenery and admiring everyone's outfits. Big shout out to everyone at South Evan Railway who made this trip super fun. They had a great time with us there and we had a great time too. We pop back to town for an intimate rehearsal dinner, having the best pies known to man. Seriously, so good. <laughs> And then we made our way to the forest for stories and offerings by the fire before the big day. This is the kind of thing my friends and I love to do. Finding a fire or even just a corner in a pub and share poetry, songs and story together till late in the evening. Everyone is hungry at some point or another. But some people have so much to say, they just can't stop saying it. <laughs> so it is to hold all the wisdom of the world, of this world and the ones that lie beyond it. Why wouldn't you tell people? Why wouldn't you share that wisdom? I'll tell you why. It's too much for little mortals like us. We are not the deathless gods. We are not meant to know these things. It was so amazing getting this mythic dose of love from our community the day before the ceremony. Don't fuck with the gods. Do find your way home. Inside of it is security and longing and desire and goodness are last for life. And then it was the big day, oh, the time where all of the planning and all of the stress and everything comes to fruition and started off with me getting ready and Ben asking me to go retrieve something from the house for him that in the chaos I immediately forgot about doing. This was 
This was not a relaxed bridal morning. This was a morning of work. I put on like the base of my hair and makeup and then my gals and I went to the reception area to decorate. I had planned to film more of this setup, but wouldn't you know it, I was a little distracted. But rest assured it got set up. And then we went back to the manor to finish getting ready. That is when we all got into our day outfits. You can see my lovely dress here, which is by I Do Declare. Um, absolutely loved this. It gave me all of the nightcore medieval vibes I was going for while still making me feel like a bride. I felt very powerful, very ready for battle. I love this dress and yeah, I felt, I felt magical. My hair did what I wanted it to do. My makeup did what I wanted it to do. All my gals looked super cute and beautiful in their outfits. Everyone sort of had their own little uh, pieces that they added to it, which was amazing. Also check out this sick belt I got off of eBay. Like many of the things I got for this wedding. It's a thing I'm very excited to use in my everyday life. <laughs> And then we made it to the forest. <laughs> we welcomed everyone with a mead and tonic water cocktail, which was really delicious. Wow. Unlike your typical wedding, I was just hanging out, chatting with people while they arrived, welcoming folks. This was the most intimidating thing I could like think of doing as being the center of attention. So being out there as they arrived, like really took off that pressure for me rather than like the bride being hidden away and only appears when the music starts. And then everyone looks at you. That was just way too much for me. That was a concept, so we took it easier. I got to see everyone's outfits, see them before all the chaos, and that allowed me to like really ground and calm myself for the ceremony. Now, I know there is a video that exists of the ceremony, but I do not want to watch it. For me, the ceremony was so the moment of it happening for me, of me being on that stage. I don't want to watch it from somebody else's perspective. I don't want my memory of that day and that moment to have any outside influences. So, so just trust that it was super lovely and amazing and just perfect and all my stress and worries and all the anxieties that lead up to that moment completely disappeared when I was up there with Ben and our friend Martin who did our ceremony. So when you two are ready, And then it was just time to have fun. <laughs> and the afternoon was off to a great start. There was amazing food. It's not very medieval, authentic uh, street tacos, but a food that's guaranteed to be a hit. Medieval games. and lots of folks in amazing, amazing outfits. I loved seeing everyone's creativity and how they took this theme and made it their own. With special guests, a four day old baby. Four days. And of course my girl Nettle. After a very sensible afternoon in the woods, it was time to kick the party into high gear. The coach we hired took us from the forest to the top of town for the reception to begin. Though the gals and I stopped at my house beforehand to do a little costume change. You know, I'm a girl who loves an outfit and so I had to have a costume change in the mix. For my nighttime fey ball outfit, I wore this amazing, amazing psyche dress by Norn the Merchant. I actually won this dress off of Instagram, which was amazing and huge, huge, 
huge shout out to Norn the Merchant, who despite having so many fabric delays because of COVID, they still managed to get my dress to me in time, like literally with a week to go. And I'm so thankful that they did. Even though I won this dress, they have a customer for life. I've already admired their stuff for so long and I am pleased to tell you that the stuff in real life is just as amazing and nice. I thought this dress just had the most amazing fantasy and fairy elements and was the only thing I could wear to the Fae Ball. <laughs> Once there, I got to see all of our hard prep work in action. And shout out to everyone working at the Brew Co. who got all the fairy lights and everything turned on and ready to go for when we arrived. <laughs> Cause I was telling all the bridesmaids like, no matter how much anyone drinks, when you arrive to the reception, everyone go and turn on some fairy lights. They had already done it. There was drinks. There was merriment. There were quizzes. For once in my life. Right. I so stupid. <laughs> and of course, there was dancing. We hired two bands and a DJ, well, a team of DJs. We both love a good party and we are going to throw a good party. Huge, huge shout out to Ghosts and Other Things and Doll who put on an amazing show. Oh my gosh, they are both so great, so unique. <laughs> hire them to be like a wedding band to take requests and sing the classics. We hired them to do their own sets because we wanted independent artists to bring their own energy and fun to this event. Absolutely killed it. And it was so fun. The bands stayed and partied with us and they became such a fun part of the wedding. Of course, you know, everyone had sword, like fake swords and stuff. They were holding it up as a limbo for everyone to go under, dancing with us, going absolutely I was gonna say balls to the wall, but that's not very um, aesthetic. <laughs> After a long evening of parting, it was time for us to leave at midnight, our coat ready to bring us back for the after party to continue. Just kidding. Now everything had gone off without a hitch. And this, <laughs> this was the moment everything came crashing down. It was 12, half 12. All the workers at the pub are trying to go home and our coach is nowhere to be seen. Not answering calls or emails. And we've got uh, the 40 people who are going back to the manor waiting outside at midnight in the cold. Luckily it was dry and the ultimate contingency plan began. No cabs would do the job. Some people had gone home ahead of time. So we tried to contact them, had somebody go wake up my parents. My dad drove by to get the people who were sober enough to drive to go get more cars, to bring back, to pick us up, to drive us back. So it was about 2 a.m. by the time this uh, had gone on and we we're in a very, misty, foggy atmosphere, very liminal space. Ending the wedding in this like liminal territory, 
Oh man, truly in the Fey realm, in this bizarre, you know, the space outside of space, this time outside of time. Um, yeah, so at 2 a.m. they go to rallied my parents' wake, got my dad through the tiny Devon lanes. She was not happy about, because those are scary to drive down, but he did it. No questions asked to come rescue his daughter on her wedding day. Shout out to dad, big shout out to dad. <laughs> And then our friend Jimmy goes, wait, I left my car at the woods. I can't drive, but if somebody can go, if somebody, if somebody can drive, we can go to the woods to get the car. So they go and they do that. Who is waiting? Lights off two hours later. What's the coach? His boss had written down the wrong location for pickup. Uh, I mean, glad he was there. Don't know that if I had a job and people didn't show up uh, for two hours that I still would have been waiting there. Very glad he was. Uh, he then came and got everyone and drove every drove us all home. <laughs> Which was amazing. But you know, it was, it was not the end I was expecting to the wedding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't really know what to say about that. An unexpected, the only thing that didn't go according to plan. We've still had a great day and yeah, just a, a funny ending, a funny ending. But we all made it home and the next day after all this craziness and the wedding which is so much about community and bringing everyone together that in this whole like last week Ben and I didn't really have the chance to spend time just us two together celebrating and acknowledging this new, this new wedding, this new marriage for us. So we dipped away in the madness, collected and cleaned up the rest of the stuff from the pub, and then went to the seaside for a little bit of honoring of our love and our new life together. And that was my Nightcore Fantasy Core DIY wedding. <laughs> but that was not the end of the story, not by a long shot. Because the very next day we left Devon and set off for a new adventure to do a little quick honeymoon getaway. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you get notified when that video comes out so you can continue the good vibes. This was one heck of a project to undertake. Oh my gosh. And I had so much fun. I'm sad it's over. I'm relieved it's over. I miss it. It was such, such a wonderful time. When planning something like this, there's always stuff that didn't quite make it to fruition. So what did I have planned that didn't quite come together or that I would change? I originally had planned to make a bunch of like crepe paper flowers to hang everywhere, put on like the garden arch and decorate the reception scenario with. I then realized that was going to take me way too much time so I bought fake flowers to take apart and decorate with instead which was the right idea. Sometimes you just have to admit you don't have time for a project and do a more practical version instead. I also had originally planned to deck my maidens out in armor in leather armor for the first half of the day in the reception and I did make up some pieces you can see some of my experiments here and I thought they looked really good. The only reason I didn't include them was because I kind of thought they're outfit had a lot going on already. You know, they've already got three layers with dress and the top and the bodice. They each then had their own little pieces. And I think just adding some more armor on top of that while would have been cool. And I definitely will still use the things I've made. I just thought it would be too busy and it wasn't necessary. And some good advice that my mom gave me, nobody will know what you didn't do. And I said, that's great advice, mom, except they'll all know what I didn't do because I'll tell the internet that I failed. <laughs> Just kidding. Like I said, sometimes you have to drop stuff uh, just because it makes sense. You don't need it. Everyone who's there wants it to be great because they love you and they're there to support you. The only other thing I would say is I would have taken more time off before everyone started arriving. I really could have done with some days off, some more days off where I could just work nonstop. But I'm so excited I get to take you all on this journey with me and share this part of my life with you all and give you a peek into all of the people behind me that help make my life what it is and me who I am and have them all a part of my life and bring everyone into my Devon world down here. I'm just so thankful and so just taken truly aback and truly touched all the people that showed up and shared their love and shared so generously and jumped in to tasks and helped and I'm just the luckiest gal in the world. <laughs> And huge, huge thank you to my wonderful husband, Ben. While you're watching me plan crafts and looks and people's outfits, Ben took care of pretty much the rest of the planning. So all the little behind the scenes job, that was all Ben. And I couldn't be more lucky and thankful. That said, I'm so glad to be back 
to filming and uploading and connecting with my online community because I really miss you guys a lot. <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts and thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos almost every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's see how long this filming take was. An hour and a half, holy crap. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. <sighs> and then it was the big day. Oh, I didn't talk about my outfit. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see how this turns out in the editing room because this is certainly the most footage I've ever had to deal with at one time. <laughs>